you there, folks. So, got here this point and click adventure game called 2064 Read Only Memories. It's available for PC on uh, Skog and Steam and all that good stuff, but not in physical format. I wanted the physical forms, I picked up the uh, physical disc. Actually, it was this collector's edition that they released like afterwards that goes into it. I did a video on that recently. It was a bunch of cool stuff, but anyway. Um, this is the game. Just look at the back here. It says 10 plus hours of classic point and click adventure gameplay. Uh, your struggling career as a journalist is salvaged with the first, first, world's first sapient robot, Turing, recruits you to investigate their creator's kidnapping. So, we saw a little bit of that if you watched the last video that I did on this when I opened it up. Um, there was a lot of talking in this game, similar to that 15 days game. I think there was a little bit too much talking. But let's uh, let's go back and let's. Uh, I might do the uh, introduction in a second. Is that how? I would at least play the introduction one time. I don't think I. I think I even skipped it when I did the um, the, the unboxing of it because it was just so so long. But uh... let's go back to here. Wait, will do game do it? Okay, here we go. So hopefully this is coming through okay. Neo San Francisco. Twenty sixty. If you're watching this, let me know if the audio is right. The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. My fan on a hot here. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain-to-machine technology. It's totally very advanced to me, I can tell you. Easier access to genetic like modification these VR hundreds walking the streets, looking less human every day. This is like what they call cyberpunk. However, futuristic and it's like the, the fast -paced combination of like the Matrix or um, really... Uh, what was that book they see that wrongs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that Rons we have lost on. Robots, I think. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core, they are only brainless machines. Organizations, like the Human Revolution, seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. I think that makes sense. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. Okay. And with this, Humanity's destiny will be altered forever. This is creating this Turing guy, this the sapient robot or whatever. I guess the robs are just stupid and this, the Turing is a living machine or whatever. Planet of living machines. Oh, okay, I don't want to skip it. Let's keep it. Oh, I mean, I, I'm not sure if I want to skip it or not. For posterity, let's... Can, they, can this go now? Okay, here it's going. <laughs> so, like, so far I don't have to do much. Prologue. And we saw this at the beginning. Um, if you watched the other video where I opened it up, there was a little... In the beginning, you had to write a review on a some kind of gadget or something. I'm not sure what your job is, though, because... Alright, so... It's a pretty small interface, and unfortunately, I'm, I'm watching this in a very small window because I'm like passing it through for my PS4. And I guess I could have it on the screen over there too, but I don't. Actually, the chat there, even though nobody's actually talking in the chat right now. So if you're in the chat, please, uh, you know, all right, home sweet home. I'm just clicking the button right. Okay, now I get to actually interact, so I can pick up stuff. I can interact with a sheet of paper. So I can like look at the sheet of paper, pick up sheet of paper. 
better if they're on the ground, don't you think? Not really, but if you say so. so basically, it's a, it's a point and click. I'm just using the, the uh, controller here to navigate around the icons. Alright, it's very nice. Alright, let me log into the computer. I remember we're supposed to do coffee, book. I don't know if you can take this stuff or what. Use book. It's more useful holding up the window. Uh, drink coffee. The letters F and K seem clear as day. What the hell is that mean? Plant. Okay, the headphones. I gotta take this. Alright, this is the thing I'm supposed to do a review on. Okay, they tell me these are the things you're supposed to do a product review on. They're smart headphones. Hey Ninja, how you doing? Good to see you. Oops, I need to do that. This sink looks really dirty and disgusting. My whole apartment looks like a freaking disgusting pig sty. I must be a real, like, disgusting pig in this game. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's use the computer. Lappy is a bit of a relic. Alright, so you have an article due tonight. Bear Fisher for bed. Thank you. Uh, this is like, I think, a news. Yeah, you can like look at news and stuff. Local news article. Sort of broken down Froyo stand. Who gives a crap? Heard of its article. Sorry about the human revolution. I mean, if it was video, I'd watch it, but I'm not going to freaking read the you know, news articles. Who cares? Like, should, I want to watch TV. I don't want to read, like... If this is the internet in the future, this would be 2064. You'd think they would have, like, some video, not like, uh... Where the hell this is. Alright, blah, 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 whatever. Alright. Alright. Uh, the human resolution stands by their claim that genus is diluting the human experience by providing hybrids with gene splicing treatments. <sighs> this reminds me of Mean Streets already. They're playing God in the most senseless of ways. You're born human. Who are we to mess with our genes and start tearing everybody into who knows what? It's ridiculous and scary. It's not human. Alright, is there any, any, can I exit this? Alright, uh, let's log out of lips. Anyway, I need to log out of the whole computer. <laughs> I wish we were trying to la log out of lap of Lips, not Lappy. Lips is live intelligence processing system, apparently. Alright, what's this? Journal logic. Compose using journal logic. At first, I have to use the, the, the headphones on some stuff. I read to that before. Lips Live. Can I watch this? Is this TV? One of the less pornographic feeds. Video game streams, old concert recordings of live kids and baby animals. Sounds like uh, today too. Hey Mark, how you doing? Hey Quilter Northern too. Wow, we got a really uh, high quality group here today. Ninja, Mark, and Quilter Northern. I wouldn't even get there any of the riffraff coming yet. <laughs> Acting experience will really neglect that for the first to actually start writing the review. If part work is done, you're so accomplished. Alright, cool. Over my inbox. Uh, rent mail, promotional mail, invitation, weekly update, work mail, bill, scam mail, spam mail. Sorry, the spam, scam mail says Princess Thomas on it. Past due. <laughs> or let's read work mail. Hey there, I'm the lead editor for What the F Sounds. We're a new up and coming order review fee looking for hot talent. Look at the feature you probably usually like to do for us. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now I can, can I go back now to the like, back, the back button. All right, can I write this stupid art thing now? I <laughs> start doing baby animals for you, as Mark says. It's a good idea. It worked for for uh, like David Letterman, didn't it? Or those the stupid pet tricks, or whatever. Sell your soul bit by bit, character by character, finished. I uh, set it off the editor. Big break, sure. Surely. Alright, come on. 
Alright, time for bed. Let's log out of lips and go to bed. Go to sleep. Hey Ryan, how you doing? Stu new. <laughs> new Stu or Stu new. Alright, so if those of you who watched my unboxing of this game will know what's going on right here. It's that robot that talks a huge ton of a ton amount and we gotta get past all this exposition here. Ah, good. You're finally awake. How's the audio um, of the speech now that they're talking? Is it is it loud enough? It needs to be louder. I'm honestly not sure why most humans don't have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather inconvenient. So I'm obviously not going to talk over his speaking. Are you significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? What kind of random weird question you're asking me? What? How'd you get into my apartment? What the hecky? Do you guys have any any suggestion of what I should say? Let me know, but I may not get the suggestion before I actually pick on my own. Audio is okay, or right. you can hear the speech loud enough, Mark. Oh, I hope you don't mind. Um, so Ryan says, I remember this from last time, how is LGBTQ friendly? It seems pretty rigged. That's a good question. I don't think we did get to that part yet, because I think we only got, like, about five minutes into the game, so... While you I'm were asleep, gotta go a little I further. had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your records and entertainment media using Bisac. What the hell's Bisac? I prefer Once only one done, sack. I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my micro-actuators. Definitely so I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. Yeah, it's free from pigsty. As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've, uh, run into a bit of a snag. What's that? <laughs> Forget all that. Tell me why you're here employing the cops. You growing the beard again? i just been, like, not feeling uh, too I'm great sorry. the last few days, Ryan, so i just been, like, lazy, just like the guy in this game who doesn't clean up his apartment. I haven't been cleaning I up my face. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge. Hey, Humper Dink Fang Lorder, good to see you again. The robot sounds like Jimmy Neutron. Apparently, according to the back of the thing here, the robot was voiced by Melissa Hutchinson. I have no idea who that is, but Hutchinson. Protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Oh gosh. Hayden? You don't well, even remember? Saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I'm even drinking water today, Ryan. I've been off soda for the last 24 hours. I don't hours. really know. Well, my That's controllers why I'm vibrated. Here. That's one nice thing about having controllers that they vibrate for some Help reason. Me. You are quite my only hope. But you're certainly the most hey, statistically Jeremy. supported. Alright, slow down. Just start the, from the beginning. I don't know why you're asking me, a reviewer of Beats headphones, okay. to help you with yes, your case. I can but do that. You can at least tell me what's going on. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. Who's Hayden? Who are you? He seemed frightened. What's your terrified name? Terrified even, and instructed me to escape. This is a friendly chat. I you guys like, hi, how you doing? How's everything? Here. I'm not purifying I'm myself per se for the sodas. I just purify myself for now because I haven't been feeling so well. So I'm just trying to eliminate bad things for the moment in my diet and just try to stay with the water for a little bit. Why am I your best hope? I ran an algorithm against every contact in Hayden's address book. And you were the only one in Hayden's address book, so you win. Based on the combined deductions of <laughs> personal profile, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me. I said I don't know who Hayden is, at least by... I, maybe he knows the, the character, but I as a player don't know. So. But I think he's supposed to be like Bill Gates or something. Why should I get involved? I haven't seen Hayden in like forever. Oh, Melissa played Clementine the Walking Dead games. Oh, cool. Jeremy, close me count on you for your voice your heart, actor knowledge. As they say. And Mark says he's a hydro homie. That's cool. But considering your recent slump in published articles and the lack of liquid assets in your bank accounts. At least I have liquid in my cup. I figured you would jump at the chance to be first on the scene of the, the way, that vital background disappearance music went away. of a prominent parallax Ryan, researcher right in the uh, heart of Neo-SF. 
DOSF, a prominent parallax researcher. Am I wrong? Maybe you store your cash under that ratty mattress in the corner. Well, basically he's insulting me now and saying that I'm poor. Uh, why would they want Hayden? He is one of the top researchers at Parallax, but there's no way that alone would be enough to get Does him Does it sound like that. Clementine? I haven't actually played the Walking Dead game. I suspect it has to do with me. Who are you anyway? Uh, excuse me. Finally, what's your that? name? It's Turing. Myself. I've never had the pleasure of the doing of the so box. before. I am Turing. And I can take away those three question marks and just say Turing. I know there we this go. must sound quite unflattering, but I suppose <sighs> you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. Well, you look like an experiment. He's currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. It's okay, Jeremy. We know you always got other more important things going than watching the stream. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're watching in Quest 2. It's, it's interesting. You're watching it in the movie theater in Quest 2? Exploring true artificial sapiens. And the music came back, by the way. It's possible that the idea of a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into mm -hmm. kidnapping him. Either to stop his research or to take it and use it for themselves. Alright. Alright, so how are you different from any other ROM? That's because he's sapient. A regular ROM has virtual intelligence. They can appear rather it's smart, 2064, humans, so I guess it's going to take till 2064, which is like, what, 25 years from now? Until we actually get a smart, or more than that, 45 years from now, until we actually get a smart robot, according to this. But they're just cleverly programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. I'm about to do an OnlyFans unless you want to people in the chat come join me. As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy as I learned to interact with the world around me. It's machine learning. But this is the real despite machine learning, my ability to self-modify my code, yes. I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Oh, he's a little child. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? How would you know? How would you? Hayden once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out. But I can't say I have any new insight was into the question. Was the Turing test Blade Runner? It was, yeah, Turing test is basically a test of whether, um, so if, if you can tell if something is, is, a, is a computer or a person, it's, it's called a Turing test. Um, so that's why it's because the game is Turing. Can any of us tell that we aren't just oh, puppets cool, dancing to someone else's will? It's a good question. I feel like I'm a puppet plenty of times. You're right. I apologize for the tangent. Is anyone out for Hayden? I don't know. I'm not certain who would benefit the most from I hope this game gets, gets better after all the prisoner. talking. Because this is okay, but it's so much talking. Hayden has become increasingly paranoid as of late. I want to shoot some things! It was a point of clicks that might happen. never specify anyone I should fear when I asked. I want to use my brain. That's what I want to do. I want to solve some puzzles. It's not as though he has any obvious enemies. Okay. There are we go to his house now? multinational corporations that could make use of his engineering skills. But I can't imagine any of them would go as far as This is a famous voice actor that if it was Clementine from Walking Dead. That's pretty cool. Guess we should get started. Indeed. Time is of the essence. Let's go then. Stop talking. Time's of the essence. I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account. I think and I... the car has just arrived. I thought I have no money, so why don't you do that? Why don't you give me a bunch of money? Why don't I go to the police? That's one. No, we can't. Oh, it shook my thing again. One of the last Did you just smack me? Is that what happened? To avoid the authorities. <laughs> must be cautious right, about this is a great movie, really shitty this. game, though. My yeah. So far, it's not a great movie. The possibilities of a leak are dangerously high. Yeah, the possibilities of a leak are dangerously high, especially if I keep drinking this water. Corruption, despite uh -huh. being a challenge to public trust as well as cohesion of departmental policies. Oh my God, this guy talks so freaking much. To consider. I want to like slap him a little bit. <laughs> if you like if a, a VR game. <laughs> his life may be put in further danger. 
his chances of escape would surely decrease. The problem with speech games, I hate skipping the speech. I like they spend so much time with the now. voice acting. Please. Okay, I get it. All right, Bobblehead, I'll help. There will be a story here. My head does not bobble, thank you very much. <laughs> Well, you talk too much, that's for sure. In addition, I would not expect you to help me without fair compensation. Okay, good. I assure you, there is a story here. Whether you are good enough to find it or not is up to you. Oh, you're insulting me again? I hope you are, for Hayden's sake. I hope I can beat the crap out of this guy. Oh, wait, didn't he already talk about ripping my arms off? That's the next, uh, next part of the game, I guess. So I'm still sick. Yeah, I'm not feeling too well, Ryan. I could be better. Hayden's apartment now. There's a chicken. I guess a rooster. Hmm, that's strange. Pretty big apartment. It's weird how his face turns into an exclamation mark. Well, the door for our home seems to have already been repaired. Hmm. I'm certain I guess the my apartment audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. Probably made his... <laughs> it's like insulting him. You might be busy running away. Maybe. <laughs> you don't like me something Pride something me. You gotta take it if you can dish it out. My audio sensors are more sensitive than a human's ear, and I heard Hayden's voice clearly as I made my tactical retreat. Yeah, tactical retreat. At best yeah. it means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. Okay. Now can I do a nice search? Further, I feel I need to clear the air between First us. to talk to me about the nature of robotics. Events have been proceeding faster than I am capable of processing them, and I, I may don't have leave guys yet. Promise is part of me over another two minutes. Conversations. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's nice, thank you. I have put you in an unexpected situation. Yeah, no and it kidding. was tactless of me to question your motivations. Yeah, no kidding. Let's strive to have a more harmonious relationship from now on. Okay, fine. <laughs> Whatever. Let's oops, what happened? Whatever, let's keep moving. Let's say don't worry, I'll try to be nice to him. Oh, a lucky break! What's the lucky break? It seems my access codes still work. Okay, great. Hayden's door has far better security than yours does. Uh. Okay, maybe port by the door. Let's just head in. It doesn't look like there's much of a struggle. Well, there does, just stuff on the floor. Are you sure he's actually kidnapped? I do not make a habit of entering people's homes in the middle of the night without permission for no reason. Well, as long as you thought there was a reason. Breaking and shit. entering is just not a sustainable Why don't you knock on the door in the first place they're breaking and So entering. yes, I am quite certain. I saw it happen myself. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. I doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. Especially if you die these Bill Gates. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. Yeah, it's like Bill Gates. <laughs> I don't know if the party tells ripping my arm off. Of course not. How silly. I asked him if he was programmed against harming humans like an Isaac Asimov said it was a robotics. It must be able to self-modify. Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. That's like the Skynet stuff. I could rip your arm off right now if I cared to. So nice. I really appreciate that. Comforting Turing, why don't you? I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. I don't want to go to jail. The social contract, as a useful construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. I hope it stays that way, Turing. It isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. Basically, he has no moral issue with killing people, it's just not acceptable. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. I could have and may even have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. Why didn't you then? But I... I'm a coward. Uh, what's done is done. We need to focus on escaping and finding him. Excellent point. Let's start searching for clues. About freaking time. Alright, first of all, can I save the game? Do I have to save the game? Oh, I can put a name here. 
gives a crap. Or just write save one. Or did it save? Alright, I guess it saved. Oh no, okay. Alright, whatever. It saved, hopefully. Alright. What get out of here? Continue. Alright. Broken tech. Computer, stack of books, window, photos, plant, ROM parts. I take the ROM parts. You don't even own a ROM. It's, just, it's, it's an adventure game, and I just want to take whatever random crap I'm able to take. <laughs> Turing, rides his, Turing says, I need your clothes, boots, and motorcycle. <laughs> Nobody told me going on a murderous ravage is not acceptable, says Mark. See a screenshot for me for later? What is it? Some dumb look on my face? That's fine. Uh, TV, game consoles. Use game consoles. You have the strength and temptation we resist. Uh, too bad. You'll probably throw a rad video game wizard now. Busted. You must have dropped in the skirmish. Okay, I thought, look at. Oh, where's that memory card? I just saw it. Stack of books, computer. On top of the computer? Oh, wait, uh, there was, I saw it said memory card. This is the problem with this this interface. I could have sworn it said memory card somewhere. I'm sure, actually. Where the hell was it? Did anybody see a memory card? I'll try to turn on the TV in the, the computer in the meantime. That's Hayden's computer. Yes, no, I know it is. Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their ROM, but desktop rigs like this are still more suitable to the intensive programming tasks Hayden needs to perform. Okay. Unfortunately, no, I don't. You suck. And before you ask, I don't think I would be able to break past its security in any reasonable length of time. You totally suck. Of course you can't, that would be too easy. I'm sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> if you'd like to try your oh, hand at digital breaking and entering, be my guest. I actually have a bit less free processing power than a regular ROM, despite my powerful CPU. Much of those extra clock cycles are used to maintain my complex personality algorithms. Okay, cool. Hayden's computer has enough spare Stop processing talking. power to run counter intrusion software okay. if I attempt to slice in. <coughs> Even if I did have the power capability, I haven't found hacking to be one of my talents. But you talking is your talent. Can't you download the knowledge from the mesh net? I guess like the internet. I could, but much in the same way you might learn a task and still have no aptitude for it. I'm not certain I would be able to do the job any better than an experienced computer security expert. You suck. Well, that's, that's better than me. The whole reason humans have always been better at breaking into systems than the systems are at keeping them out <laughs> is because humans have intuition. I hope not. <laughs> While computers can only think in straight like, lines, Annie, come here, humans Annie. can think sideways and upside down. I lack that ability. Alright, so we're smarter than you, is that what you're saying? Well, I wouldn't say that, but as silly as it sounds... The 10 hours adventure game, I, I hope it's not 9 hours of talking. I'm very good with computers. I do seem to have some skill with painting, though. Oh my god, who gives a crap? This, is the most, this, this guy is the most pieces. annoying personality sure of any robot in the world. I really talk to Rob the Robot to this guy. To give me an objective You're opinion. so boring, you're such a dull person. You're like a, such That's a dull true. robot. Machines are best at reproduction. Still life, impressionism, reproduction? photorealism. Oh, you mean like art reproduction. If you're good at reproduction, now I know I created you. and satisfying <laughs> to paint what I feel. Come on. Let's get back to searching. Oh my god. That was all just looking at the computer? Where was that memory card? There it is. Memory card. He impregnates in. Alright, uh. So 
Can I use the memory card on the computer? What could be stored on this? Hmm. Okay, I think the way you do it is you click the computer and then you say use item on a computer and then you pick the memory card. Doesn't fit. No compatible slots. That's annoying. Okay. Really? That's really odd. Alright, what else can I do? Your photos. Okay, look at photos. Oh, that's Hayden. I guess that's Hayden. So it doesn't look like Bill Gates. It looks like sort of a black Bill Gates, I guess, with those glasses. Plant. Claws off. I want them to try to move the plant or something. Can't do anything with that. Stack of books. Can I move it? Oh, I think I see something under those reference books. Oh, that's right. Books. I did this the first time too. What just fell out? Tablet. Ooh. Look at tablet. Ah, uh, that device. I find it rather annoying that he prefers to go basic rather than entrust me with his schedule. Oh, that's his schedule. Okay. It is well within my skill set, but he claims he does not want me to begin to feel subservient to him. Also, he's, you're too boring to talk to, so he doesn't the want to talk to you. memory card slot is empty. Oh, there it we go. seems to be a match for the memory card you discovered. Wait, you got to feed it to me? I could have figured that out myself. We can't use it without the card. Go ahead and insert it. Oh my god, stop. Stop holding my hand. Now the only option I have is the memory card, too. Every card removed from items. Ooh, trophy earned. <laughs> I got a trophy. Put the thing in the thing or something, it says. Hayden must have removed the memory card in Stupid order to PS4. prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. It was so hard to find it on the floor. Mm, if only he had kept his information stored with me, he would not have had to resort to such crude <sighs> measures. Put my fan back on. Tablet Couch is supposed to be the somebody named Tomcat today. Are you getting digital bells? Not really. I guess we'll have to go ask. Ask who? Says here they were going to meet at a club called Stardust, oh, located cool. in the Castro District. Oh, cool. I'll mark it on your city map. All right, we're going to go somewhere. Yay. We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat character. Sounds good to me. Perhaps they can shine some light on why Hayden was snatched. I was snatched? Uh, my city map? Uh, oh, excuse uh, me. I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. You haven't. We shouldn't put that off any longer. Okay. Once finished, I will oh, have so an assortment of new ways to assist you. Do I get to set my identity now or something you. and say my name or something like that? For example, I'll be able to reroute any call or message that you receive while we're out and about. Okay. I just need to ask you a few questions. It's probably where I established my identity. This is an here. exciting thing, I promise. I believe you, it's super exciting. Don't you know literally everything about me already? Sure, whatever else this crap we're worth, cool, bring it on. Say bring it on. Welcome to the first time user setup for your new relationship and organizational manager running the latest build of Parallax's live intelligence processing system. Okay. I'll need to ask you like a few questions, and then like, you can okay, get right okay, to managing okay. your life with your new ROM. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to consult our online FAQ dialogue. and setup guide, or contact our support department directly. Oh my god. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use in account creation, online communications, and conversational speech? Sure. Enter your name. I got the crap turn we need to go. Why enter your name? Uh, why is that? Oh, I have to use this thing now. S. S. Yeah, come on. Uh, why is that working? Uh. Which, oh, which, which button must to press? Okay. A little weird interface here. What the f 
better. Wait a second. Come on. Bitch. Bitch. How do I get the goddamn letter in? I'm pressing like every single <laughs> ride so far this is an LG LGBTQT or a game. Wait, wait, wait. What is it? It presses it like once. You see, I'm pressing the button. It only like presses it once every 20 times that you press it for some reason. Yeah, LGBTQ, I know. I didn't correct you, but... Can we, get, can we get three letters in here? Just three letters. All right. S-T. Come on, you get the third one in. Close the door and just wait for the actual game to start. Well, man, I can get my name in. All right, here, Stu. Is that enough? Done. Wait, where's done? Not delete. Done. Done. Seriously! Why does it only work like every 50 times that I press the... Do you wish to keep this name? Yeah! Goddamn yes! Thank you. I have input your name. Stupid bastard. Next, could you tell me which pronouns I should use for you in referential and conversational speech? See, now they're asking my pronouns. So you see, there, there's, there's something here. They, them, their, theirs, she, her, her, hers, he, him, him, his, his, his. So you see, Ryan, now we're getting to the LGBTQ friendly stuff, it looks like. And there's more options, too. Who cares what they are? Okay, interesting. You do custom pronouns, also. Uh, I'm too, I'm very boring, so I'm going to go with he, him, his, his. Thank you. I have input your pronouns. Finally, That's actually could you pretty tell cool. me your preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations? Preferred diet? Omnivorous, vegetarian, halal, four options. Kosher, gluten-free, vegan, alcohol-free, <laughs> goddamn it, Turing. Alright, well, I'm gonna go with kosher. It's pretty cool. Diet set as kosher. That's Are awesome. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. That's correct. Thank you for confirming. I'm, that, I'm pretty happy about that. I have obtained your physical location from <laughs> GPS and will load local data into my memory as it becomes available. So far, this is the best part of the game. Why did they do that at the very beginning? <laughs> Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy or restart setup to enter it again. <laughs> it just struggles real. I'm telling you, I couldn't press the button, guys. It wasn't working. Is there one option to play as a toilet? No. Stu Stee Sta. <laughs> Halal Street Me works. <laughs> cool Northern. Wow, how inclusive. I agree. Oh, I don't want to review it for accuracy. It's good. In review. Yes, my name is Stu. My pros are he, him. Diet is kosher. Does yep. that sound right? Sounds perfect. Thank you, Turing. I'm, I'm your friend now, Turing. You've won Thank a friend you. over by being inclusive, actually. Now I'm actually your friend. I hated you before, but now I like you all of a sudden. That was relatively painless. That was awesome, Turing. You should now I have, I have a new opinion of this game now. Of Neo SF. This is awesome. And I'm not even kidding. Meeting with Tomcat <laughs> isn't until later this evening. Don't start over. <laughs> I'm not starting over. Perhaps we should head back to your apartment for now. Okay, let's do that. Or I can say I want to look around a little bit more. I don't really want to look around a little more. Let's. I want to go back. I'm sure we can find some time time we're reaching on the robot soon enough. Better. Oh my god, probably not. It will be an efficient You're right, I've already started to get annoyed again. Actually, it's starting right through my laptop. Thank you for escorting me here. Thank you for being so inclusive. Let's head Jerry. back to your home. This game is not auto save. These are to save frequently. Thanks a lot. Why don't you? Why don't? Why don't you do auto save? Could you make an auto save instead of putting up that message? It's bad programming. That's gonna crash or something, right? Wow, we're in chapter one. We made it to chapter one, everybody. You're right. The game didn't start until then. That was all the prologue. Jeremy says most games nowadays are actually very LGBTQ friendly. I don't know. I must have missed that. I never. That's the first game I ever played in my life where you they asked me my pronouns. Trophy earned a new well. cyberpunk adventure. 
My Crassula Ovala is the plant. Have you been overwatering it? It only took 16 hours. No, I haven't been watering it at all. No plants need lots of water. It's actually a succulent, and since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. Well, that's so interesting. Mark says, now we've started chapter one, I have to sign off in a few. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing Yeah, I think there was a cartoon or movie that a robot on screen flourishing. made. I, I agree with you, it's definitely familiar with somewhere, but I don't know from where. The building white drywall is flourishing. Okay, we have more important things to worry about. Okay. He's like trying to make small talk of it. I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, it's almost the time Hayden had scheduled to meet with Kurt. Good, Kurt. let's go. Let's go. We should make our way to Stardust soon. Let's go back now. The map is updated with the location. Great. Map. Right, they told me I have to save the game. I don't know if you could die in this game, by the way, so I better just save it just to be on the safe side. Saves. I can make a new slot. Is there only two slots? Ugh, I do this again. Yeah, so GGG. At least this time the, the things work. It still says. Okay, now I'll make another one after that. Okay, that's fine. So, I mean, there's home. Stardust Club. Okay. Go. Go. Okay, I see. Alright. Stardust Club. Alright. Well, this looks like the place. Assuming the flashing neon signs are telling the truth. Yeah, she definitely talks way too much in this game. From the sounds of the music, things are already under the fan is making the, the noise, even making so me too noisy. This is hot here. I have the window open. Tomcat it's still inside. hot. And some answers. That's, I hope we can have find Apache Tomcat inside. I need to set up a web server. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Okay, now I get to control it. Door. Oh, there's a bouncer. Open sign. Plant, plant. Is it a wreath? Is it like Christmas? Marked car. Touch wreath. It's the holidays. Okay, I guess it is Christmas. Let's talk to the bouncer. Welcome to Stardust. Oh, what a friendly guy. Let's just go in then. Hold up there. Oh, now he's hold up there? Got ID? You're gonna card me? Yeah, I do have, I do have ID actually. Alright, looks good to me. Steal the car. <laughs> well, that's it, he just wants to check my ID. Alright. Welcome to Stardust. Now he says work says welcome to Stardust. This is the place. Have you ever been guy. here before? I've not been here before. This guy is interesting looking, the bar the bartender. Not my kind of zone. This is my first time, but I don't think it'll be my last. Who could stand this music? I don't know. I'll say this one. The atmosphere is certainly exciting. It's too long. It's hard to hear it by their headphones. It got quieter all of a sudden. I'm particularly impressed by some of the more subtle effects the music and lights are having on your autonomic nervous system. Oh, really? What does that mean? Try not to let yourself get too entranced, at least not until we've achieved our goal. I like this music. Anyway, where do you think we should start? How about at the bar? Let's check the bar. Good idea. Maybe the bartender can tell us where to find Tomcat. Who cares about that? Ooh, right the glass of whiskey. <laughs> bartender. Arcade poster, poster of the face on it. Why do I want random glass of whiskey? Morning, friend. What can I do for you? You can give me something to drink. What are you having? Bears winter tea? Air drink, butch flower? I don't even know what the hell these things are. Sour apple tea, I can probably guess what that is. Blue boy. Spicy gentleman. Rusty nail. A lot of different drinks here. 
I just want like a screwdriver. Can you give me a screwdriver? Or like <laughs> something, something simple. Beer. Whiskey. So bitch. <laughs> Fucking IDK. What the hell is this? Are these real drinks? A lot of drinks here. Okay, I think I'm back to the beginning. I'll take a sour apple tea, or whatever. So many drinks these days. Uh, yeah, no remind kidding. Me, what's in there? Ninja, what did you want me to do? You said wait. What's in that? I don't know what's in it. Drinkinary. The open alcoholopedia says. <laughs> Weird juice. I, I didn't see that. Both of you guys saw that though. This sounds good to me though. One half parts vodka, one part sour apple schnapps, a splash of melon liqueur, and a squirt of lemon juice. Hey, Dork Axe, how you doing? Does that sound good? Yeah, it sounds really good, actually. Ah, all right, you got it. Coming right up. All right, that's sour apple teeny. Now, what is it you need to know? I said I need to know anything. Can you tell me more about yourself? Look, I hate it whenever it be a Tomcat. Uh, sorry, let me with Tomcat. I don't want to hit on the bartender. I'm pretty sure Tomcat came in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. So they're they're all, they're the pronouns. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around here, I'll tell them you're looking. Okay, what's your name, by the way? Oh, <laughs> I should introduce myself. You should. The name's Majid. I've been the bartender of Stardust for a few years now, but I've owned it a little longer than that. So, what do you want to know? What's it? Not too rude, but don't place this color going to flash. That's pretty rude. I don't really, I don't really care, actually. Do I? Well, I'll ask him what he do for Stardust. Mostly got myself into trouble. When I emigrated from Pakistan, I didn't have a whole lot of employable skills. But I'm real Chipotle big, which was enough to get hired for some real dirty stuff. Bodyguard work. Truth be told, I hated the work. I didn't want to be a hired fist my whole life. I wanted something regular. Matt says, what year did this game come out? I think it originally came out in 2015, and this version came out in 2017 or something like that. I had enough cash saved up to buy this place, which was a hole at the time. The rest is history. I'm sure it sounds more exciting than it was. <laughs> yeah, probably. All right, let's talk about really this. Sure. Enough about me. What do you need to know? That's it. I'm gonna go check out the dance floor. Enjoy yourself, and don't be a stranger. Any achievement for that? How do I go to the dance floor? Okay, leave. I don't want to be stardust. Okay, the right arrow, go right. Oh, there we go, okay. So there's a rad dancer. There's dancers on the floor, another dancer. There's also this lady with ears. I don't know what that's deal with her. I keep turning more. Mega Faux Beater, Arcade Punk. What's that? Stanchion? What's a Stanchion? Alright, let's, let's talk to the lady with the, with the weird ears. Yes, can I help you? They're very businesslike. Huh? Tomcat is... Oh, wait, I get it. You headed right up to the chick with the ears, because of course she'd be the one with the cat name. Oh, I wasn't thinking that even. So why do Snatcher? We're supposed to be Cyberpunk, Matt. And how are you doing, Matt? Um, Good to see you. Freaking believable. No, I wasn't Find trying to do yourself, something. Find them yourself, Jack. Ow! It just hit me! My controller's shook again! Don't get your fur in a knot, I'm just asking around. You guess? Try to apologize. Look, I'm cruising for cuties right now, and cat jokes are the biggest turnoff. Are you a cat? I don't know where Tomcat is, so look for them elsewhere. And one more thing. Don't expect others to be so kind. 
or even me most times. Oh. You want to talk about the hybrid thing? Cool. No one's trying to hide it. And you won't have an easy time avoiding it at this club. But jokes, puns, and worse, assumptions? That will get you blacklisted fast. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm sorry. You don't all have sorry. the energy to handhold genotypical people who can't spare 10 seconds to pull out their ROM and look things up. Pull out their ROM and look things up. If you up. try to pet me, your arm is coming off. <laughs> I'm trying to pet you. We clear? Sorry, did you say genotypical? Oh my gosh. Yeah, as in not a hybrid like me. Now then, I'm not here to educate you, and I do have a life to return to. I'm bouncing before you throw up a hairball. Yeah, alright, whatever. Just get moving. Not a very nice person. Hi there. What's I heard this? you were looking for me. I guess that's Tomcat. Yours truly, though. Other... Although, while I, I like the attention, it'd be just grand if you didn't holler for me so loudly. I do my share of flirting with both sides of the law. Wouldn't want little old me to get in trouble, huh? What does that mean? Good night, Mark. Good, 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 you could be here for a little bit. Nah, you're fine. Jess is just a my prickly pear on the outside. She'd probably give hell to most strange folks she hasn't made a deal with. <laughs> deal? So, to what do I owe the pleasure? This is getting more interesting. A friend of ours, Hayden's gone missing. If I don't say we need you. Hayden's missing? Well, it's one way to sour my night. I already saw you got his little ROM with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. Do you know about me? Aiden never mentioned your involvement. A sure thing, hon. I helped reprogram the back end on your OS, so the AI code Hayden wrote for you would work properly with the mesh network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. <laughs> it just says I'm gonna steal those background dance moves. <laughs> you know what, this move like here, like... <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hayden never saw fit to inform me on what went into designing my programming. <laughs> the great animation. anything else you can tell me? <laughs> mm, not much more on that end. I'm a crack shot at making the Lips OS dance to my tune, but Hayden's coding in your AI core is a whole different can of worms. <laughs> Way out of my league. Bum, bum, bum. Sorry, doll. Anything else I can help with? Yeah, I want to know where, where he is. Tell us about yourself. I know Hayden, seriously, what's Jess's problem? Tell, tell us about yourself. Oh, sure! You might have even heard of me in the news way back when. About ten years ago, I hacked into Parallax's main ROM servers. What's Parallax? Is that like the company Ooh, that Microsoft? Oh, one hell of a stink if I do say so myself. People were arguing back and forth whether I was a kid genius or malicious criminal. I earned myself an enforced net blackout for a few years, but I Ooh, think it was worth it for the prestige. We want soda right now. Which was a kid genius or malicious criminal? Let's deal with the accent E from the South. What else that afterwards? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really do it to steal anything, but I had to break an awful lot of eggs to crack my way in. I chalked it up to the exuberance of youth, and now I try to stay on the street. Mostly. Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my kid. Sometimes I treat this place like it's my own little bat cave. Why well, I could the parallax? Huh? To see if I could. I mean, parallax is right. a mighty big target. Bigger than the government. Let's deal with the accent. Probably North Carolina, dog. Yeah. 
tour, it's not the glitziest town in the world, but folks like the way the sun goes down. Only North Carolina. Still, this ain't a bad town for a southern town. Math, it's not too far from you. I had to get a third walk-in closet. How you doing, Hayden? Hayden and I met not long after my blackout expired, when he recruited me for my expertise in lifts. He puzzled me at the time, since he's very sharp himself. I mean, he, he could have done the job blindfolded and boozy. Right. I think he just wanted someone working on it off the books. Mm. He ain't the most uh, straightforward kind of man. What does that mean? What was he even working on? Mostly that little bot you got there. Well, I, I'm sure he had his fingers in lots of pies, but turn is all I knew about. Oh, it's a powerful OS. And it's since been it adapted like to run on ROMs after they figured out how much more efficient it is. It's focused on learning algorithms, so it can tailor itself to each user's habits. And it functions through using a distributed mesh network for... I like the voice acting in this game, I will say. Do you explain it like I'm a child? <laughs> That's just a fancy way of saying all ROMs connect to all other ROMs. Within range. And they share all files the user has tagged as private. Okay. It's handy in dense population areas like Neo SF since it can bypass regular telecom nodes to access the internet. Okay. Out in the sticks, though, you're stuck connecting to regular old pops. <laughs> yeah. Tomcat's on this is voiced by Ashley Birch. Who's Ashley Birch? Do you want he may have gotten this on? I don't rightly know. I can't avoid the thought that Hayden's disappearance has something to do with the color of the controller changes based, based on who's talking, I think. Behavior. Now it's blue. Well, now she's talking, it's see. purple. Uh, you see the light Hayden's color change? Pretty hush -hush about his work That's really interesting. I wonder why it's doing Parallax that. Found out about it Ooh. I might have changed things. It ain't always so good for a big company when their leading product declares independence. <laughs> I'm certain he had some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize that. He would just get fired. Maybe even sued. <laughs> just the lead in Horizon Zero Dawn. I, I can't imagine they would disappear him. I mean, they ain't the CIA or anything. Seriously, though, what is Jess's problem? Oh, don't you worry about Jess, no. She just don't have a lot of patience when talking to genotypical folks like us. Mm -hmm. I get it. She's had to deal with She's an racist. awful lot of pricks. <laughs> she had to deal with an awful lot of pricks. Nice. Because, uh, well... Because she's a hybrid? Because people are assholes? Because she's a caustic jerk? I'll say because people are assholes. Whew, they are. Especially the hybrids, though. I think it's more the way they look than the way they act. The hybrids, not two hybrids. Oh, you played that game, Ninja? Nah, I'd leave her alone if I were you. She's sharp enough on her own, but she's got friends in low places. She does owe me a favor, or three. But I ain't sure I want to waste one on pulling your foot out of your own rear, you hear? <laughs> Thanks. Real sure, huh? But it would likely help if we knew why he went missing in the first place. I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like herself. Yeah. Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? Okay. We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being banished. Okay. Parallax is involved, there's probably something we're not seeing. Best to get all the clues we can find. The data cache would be the best place to start. So something I didn't get at his computer. Good luck. Turin, you you keep out of trouble. I talked to Jess again. I like Jess, I'm upset that I upset her. I saw you found Tomcat. What else do you want from me? Not 
not after all that. I will be chill once you leave. Sheesh, I'm sorry. Um, why don't we do Get something else again. for now? We well, you your own freaking business, Turing. Dumb bastard. Alright, I guess you'll be leaving fine. You have to leave my drink behind? Why? I should have given her a drink. That was stupid. Well, I'll come back here afterwards. Let's go to my map. I didn't break into the car. Like, uh, you push the car. I don't have to do anything. She's only half of the prequel because the voice actor strike. You guys seem to know a lot about that. I don't know. I wanted to hate its apartment. Halt, citizen. This area has been cordoned off by the Neo SF Police Department this looks as part like of an ongoing cop. investigation. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. I'm sorry, citizen, but I cannot give comment on any currently ongoing investigations. Make sure you get any drinks to your little drink behind. Yeah, I didn't mean to. If you would like to leave your contact information with me, I can forward your Watch inquiry you. to the detective in charge, who will get in touch with you as soon as it is feasible. They may have questions for you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation, citizen. That will not be possible, citizen. The area must be preserved in pristine condition for the collection of evidence. Only authorized Neo SFPD personnel may enter. I am required by law to inform you that I am set at level 2 guard mode, and any effort to make unauthorized entry level will be met with non-lethal force sufficient to incapacitate. I apologize, but I must ask you to move along. Bye, Ryan. Loitering around an active investigation area is prohibited by city statute, and I am authorized to issue the citation of a fine to any persons found to be doing so. We should go ahead and get moving. Oh, brat, I did not expect the police to get involved so quickly. The situation is already growing out of our control. You blew a turn. I suppose we don't have to hide the fact of Hayden being missing anymore, but we do have to move faster. It's your fault. Do you have any ideas on how to get in there and grab that data cache? Not really. Oh, I do have a contact inside the Neo SFPD. I do? I didn't know that, but okay. Who would that be? I don't know. I found no such connection when I compiled your personal history. Why well, you let me lie then? Oh, Lexi. She's kind of doing this jurisdiction, but she'll talk to me. Give me a moment. Oh, I see now. Detective Lexi Rivers. She used to date her sister. I must have missed that link in your history so somehow. There, there's, she used to date my sisters. So that, that's, so she's gay. You have a very poor net presence. Oh, shut up. It makes anticipating your needs more difficult. Actually, I prefer it that way. Well, setting aside your unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree with your suggestion. Her online profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. A considerable boon, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this investigation for now. Just keep talking in front of the other robot, then. Let us go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. A creepy smile, yes. That'd be Detective Rivers, Turing. Oh, right. Should I refresh my protocols for handling titles around Detective Rivers? Yeah, you probably should. If you want to keep all your teeth, yeah. Done and done. We wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we? I'll stream it at some point, Ninja. Now lead the way. Police station and a city map. Let's go to the police station. Another one of those, like, uh, Robocop bots there. Save the game.
I'm going to... Wow, there's only three people here right now. We have like eight people before, but I guess getting late for some people. All right, I'm going to go get something to drink. I'm out of my water here. I think I'll just get some more water, but I'll be right back. Give me one sec. Francisco Richmond District Police Station, citizen. Call me Stu, that's citizen. How may I be of assistance Richmond, today? Richmond, like Virginia. Please give me a few moments to get in contact with Detective Rivers. Thank you for your patience. Unfortunately, Detective Rivers is out on assignment at the moment. But, she has given me her authorization to send you her way. Okay. You can find her by the Carousel Building in Golden Gate Park. Oh, but I will call you Oh, I would say I would just go down Richmond. What am I talking about? Alright, Golden Gate Park. She is working in investigation right now, and we are not responsible for your safety should you approach. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope. Uh, no. Have a good day, citizen. Something selling water. Carousel. Ride I don't carousel. think we have time to ride it, even though it looks fun. Where's the woman? Is that her? Do you think I'd look nice in that hat? <laughs> no. <laughs> Order to try. I'll take you shopping sometime. So I, I got Life is Strange, and I got Life is Strange, the next one, which wasn't two, and then I got two, but I never actually got it, because somebody is holding it for me and never gave it to me, and then, is three coming out soon? Do you want any chloroform your inventory returning to sniff? No, I don't think so. How do I go to the gazebo? Originally built by the Herschel Spillman Company in 1914, this carousel... I don't care. Okay, I guess I go to the right. Snack stand, the right. Throw you stand owner. Water pump. It's the cop. There's Lexi. Okay. Hey there. Long time. Give me a few minutes to wrap this up, okay? I swear you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to file over a damn wrecked Froyo stand. Interesting. By the way, how's your sister doing? 
don't know if you've heard, but we got some phantom robot on the loose that everyone is calling Wonder Boy. Supposed to be a hero of the people or something, but I have no idea what smashing a Froyo stand has to do with it. I guess it's just a bunch of kids screwing around at night and getting a thrill out of some light vandalism. But the brass said to take it seriously, so that's what I'm gonna do. I do like the voice acting in this game. Three comes out in November, cool. It's not like I have real cases I could be working on or actual criminals to be hunting down or anything. Uh, if I had known that this is all they would give me, I never would have transferred. What's with the weird shoulder pads that everybody has in this game? See your shoulders and the robot has it too. transferred because the credits were good. I thought being in a bigger city would mean I'd get to work some bigger cases. Instead, I'm stuck chasing ghosts and dead ends. Let's see. I'm too young for full detective. I'm too big of a hothead. I've got a history. I have augments. Take your pick. So yeah, I have plenty of spare time to help you with whatever you got. Good. Stew. It's gotta be better than dealing with this crap. Hold on one sec. Let me steal a break from this guy. So, fill me in. What's going on? I also made a game called Tell Me Why I just used the Xbox where you play as a, as a female to male trans dude. Tell me why, like, uh, is it like the Backstreet Boys? Tell me why. The old friend of my hand has gone missing. Oh, shoot, that's no good. Uh, how long have they been gone? I'll have a hard time getting a focused effort on the case immediately unless there's evidence of foul play. Unfortunately, Detective, things aren't precisely that serious. I am Hayden's personal wrong, and I was witness to the kidnapping. I can assure you Hayden was taken by force, and that time is of the essence. Just prior to the incident, he instructed me to seek help should anything bad happen. Wait, they probably know exactly how many hours this game is because the one speech takes a certain amount of time. We need your help if we're going to track him down. Do you really despise them? That's not nice. Damn. All right then, I'll do what I can to open up an investigation. It was probably already opened up. I can't guarantee I'll be put on the case, conflict of interest and all, but I can sure keep tabs on things for you. It's already investigation open. I hope we keep this off the books. Aiden is a senior researcher at Parallax, and I know he was working on some very high-profile projects for the company. It's quite likely that he was taken by somebody with enough money and influence to ensure anything official goes nowhere. You have questions about this woman talking? What are your questions? You yourself have already cast doubt on your superior's judgment. Unfortunately, we share the sentiment. She an eggshell on her head. I think it's supposed to be a hat. In fact, is. we know there is already some she kind of currently blood. ongoing I investigation. It's we were stopped from entering Hayden's apartment by an NSFPD ROM. That's why we came to you. We were hoping you would be empathetic to our cause. You know, I you're think a bit chattier than most ROMs. Yeah, you talk clear. <laughs> That's an understatement. I guess it makes I guess sense her that hair hair employees get the shiniest new toys, she's, huh? She's dyed her hair white or something. Hmm. I'll see what's going on in the department. Yeah, pretty sure that's your hair hair grid. I don't know what I can do if someone inside actually is dirty, but I can pass information to you if I decide my superiors aren't taking things seriously. They wouldn't have left only one bot by the door if it was something important enough to squash. Hopefully it's unrelated. I'll get back to you on it soon. Just relax and we'll figure this out. Promise. Thanks, Lexi. Could you read the car rock to let us in? No way, not gonna happen. Why? If there's already an investigation, I'm not gonna let you just waltz in and tamper with evidence, cover up or not. At least give me a day to make sure they're doing the job right. <laughs> what happened, Lexi? You used to play by your own rules. Don't you try to pull that guilt shit on me. <laughs> nice. I know you and I have gotten into a few scrapes in the past, but that vigilante stuff gets real old after a while. It's 
why I took this nice, stable job in the city. Okay. If I did it sooner, I'd still be with your sister. You know I can handle myself, Lexi. You've been there. Sure you can. All the way up until you don't. Just let it go. I lost too much playing fast and loose with this kind of situation back home. I have to handle this. There's multiple endings, so I'm probably gonna blow this somehow. I'll be careful, Lexi. It's gonna help my friend. All right, fine. I'll get you into the damned apartment. <sighs> Trophy earned persuasion. Just be careful, okay? The guys, the guys want to throw you. That's the odor of the Froyo stand, I think. I know you think I'm just being paranoid, but the city is tense right now. With the protests Thanks, and everything going on, you it. might be poking around in a hornet's nest. Get a weapon of some kind and stay safe. I still right. care about you. Oh, that's so sweet. You do that. I'll radio ahead to the bottom of the place. Let me know what you find out. Thanks, Lexi. You're the All best. Right, I better get out of here. Hey, you, Froyo guy. Come along to the station and we'll get this report filed. Who, me? But I've got to attend my stand. Your stand is busted, schmuck. What the crap? It's not going anywhere, and the robot I posted will make sure nobody messes with the crime scene. Let's be reused ahead. Y yes, ma'am. Later. I'll be in touch. Holy stew, don't say just like right on the screen. You're hurting my feelings. Alright. Let's go to the map. Why does it tell me exactly where to go? Is that going now? Mr. EV293? Halt, citizen. This area has been cordoned off by the Neo SF Police Department Sarah, as part of oh, ongoing yeah, investigations. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. One moment, citizen, while I verify Detective Rivers' authorization. Authorization obtained. Good luck with your investigation, citizen. Thank you. I caution you to restrict your observations to the visual, though, as there has not been an officer in to check the scene personally. Okay. There's all these other doors now that I can... Oh, a random door? Open random door. Interesting. Dog starts barking. I mean, I don't want to do that, though. Here. What? What? Jeez. What the hell? You're doctoring the crime scene. No, 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 no. Our apartment. My home. Who could have done this? Why? You're doctoring the crime scene. Really? Gone Home was a great game. Hold on a second, I'm just gonna get this this thing to work here. Oh, come on. I don't want my battery to, to die, I'm gonna plug it in. There we go. Alright, well so they doctored they doctored the crime scene. Human revolution want with Hayden? Why nothing? They want you think the human revolution's on good hand. Why would they break our things? I played Gone Home. I mean I think I played Gone Home. I wouldn't really call it a great game. It was like it was like a walking simulator sort of. I mean there wasn't much to do. You went around and looked at some stuff and you found some things, but there wasn't really any puzzles to solve that I recall. It was I, more like a just like interactive walk through the people's house. This place, these items. Story-based walking simulator. Yeah. All I have is Hayden. The computer's gone. Yeah, what if he's gone take for good? First time. What will I do if we can't find him? Oh, this was yourself. all I had left. You can rip some of people's arms off. 
You're... <sighs> You're right. I apologize for the emotional outburst. I don't remember well, the story too much. I think if I recall correctly, all this mess. she came home from, like, a trip, and her parents weren't there, and her sister wasn't there, and, like, I remember, like, either she was was a lesbian or her sister was, but I don't remember the, the details. They were dating somebody. I, I, I played too long ago, I guess, to really remember what happened. They were in a band, I think, also, or something. We don't have time to waste on my histrionics. Alright. Empty desk. Torn up plant. Pure graffiti. Broken the bill. Tech scum graffiti. Busted tea. Wow, he's built a new number. This guy's really shitty apartment, by the way. Only has one room. It's supposed to be super rich. Oh, why would they do that? Wait, Oops. we can't leave empty-handed. I didn't mean to leave. It was an accident. of the commentary she breaks out crying I don't remember anymore oh the commentary I don't think I saw the commentary tech scum I think you're right about this being human revolution propaganda but Hayden is an unlikely target I know they don't like parallax because they think advanced technology in general is bad but they spend most of their time going after hybrids and cyborgs. I'll run some deep mesh net searches and see if anything turns up. I feel like I look around, but... I think the data cache is gone. Yeah, no kidding. We've searched everywhere, and it just isn't here. I hate to return to Tomcat empty-handed, but this leaves us twisting in the wind. Perhaps they can point us in a new direction. Should backport this game to Sega CD? <laughs> Matt, you're still here? Why do you say the that? The data cache is no longer our main objective, but it would be nice to know where it is and why it was taken. I wonder what the human revolution would need the data cache for anyway. Uh, there, I was the human revolution had to do with it. Yeah, maybe someone's framing the human revolution. That's a distinct possibility. But Kazu starts so meshed at the conversation. I just don't have enough personal experience with the human revolution to give you an honest answer. The information on the mesh net is extremely conflicting and desperately polarized. Sounds like a lot of things on the Some internet. Some of it paints them as neo-druid nature lovers, other parts as bigots stuck in the past. Excuse me. Perhaps we could... Hey, what's wrong? What's going on? Oh, no. Whoa. Game over. <laughs> this game is not a whole save. So you're dead, jackass! <laughs> That's probably what she just said here. I think I was just carpet bombed. It's chapter two. Okay. Alright, I'm making some progress at least. It's not a full motion video, man. I'll be the hospital now. <laughs> Trophy or blackout. Oh, what happened? What's going on? Thank goodness you're finally awake. I have spent the past 30 minutes calculating the odds of you being indefinitely incapacitated or immobilized. That's helpful. I'm relieved to find my pessimism was misplaced and that you appear to be okay. Wow. Well, that is killing me. What happened? Someone ambushed us at the apartment. Wow. After you collapsed, my power systems were jammed by whoever attacked us. 
Interesting. It took me two minutes to reboot and call an ambulance. Crazy. When we left, I noticed they had done the same thing to the NSFPD ROM that was standing post. It takes a lot of power to crash one of those, even temporarily. Serious military hardware like that is difficult to obtain, but that type of non-lethal electrical field would interrupt my systems as well. <laughs> it's I turned up the gagger, I don't know why. Likely a mil spec neuro scrambler. I'm not sure if it's a he or a she or I don't know. Who they did this? Why the attackers just leave? If we walked in on them while they were searching the apartment for Hayden's files, I can understand them stunning us to make their escape. Mm. But the probability that they're actually after me, or rather the research behind my creation, seems high. If they're after you, they would have taken you. Leaving me when I was so vulnerable makes no sense. Yeah. Matt says no FMV, but it's just a digital speech and music. Yeah, I guess that's true. What do you think did this? I now believe my original hypothesis to have been correct. Hayden must have been kidnapped by a powerful organization looking to get control of his research. Okay. Trashing our apartment may have been a cover for the theft of the data cache we were looking for. Maybe they want you to leave them to the rest of Hayden's research. A oh. reasonable deduction. Now just help them. What the hell was that? I don't have, hold on a second, guys. I don't know why they did that. What the f Okay, that was weird. I don't know. I have no idea how that happened. That was interesting. <laughs> but if they don't yet have Hayden's research, we may still have time to rescue him before something really bad happens. Did you see you hit us? No, I didn't. They assaulted us from behind, and nothing showed up on my optics before I was disrupted. This is it the same voice as Clementine? It's deception, yeah. <laughs> they either had cloaking of some kind, or were extraordinarily careful while making their way into the apartment. My optics, while not top of the line, are better than an off-the-shelf ROMs, and I should have been able to detect any thermal changes from someone being there. Oh, uh, before I forget, here are your belongings. The nurses had me hold on to them for you until you awoke. Thank you. Here's your ID card. Don't lose this again. I used it the first time. Here are those headphones you reviewed. I noticed the article on your computer before. Good job getting published. Thanks. Just let me know when you want to leave. Well, what would I not want to leave? Uh, excuse me. Are you talking about Hayden Weber? What the? Who the f Sorry are for you? being a nosy Nancy. Hayden's an old friend of mine. Yeah, so my club of time sounded all dead too years. familiar. Has anything happened to him? Who are you, buddy? Of course, I've not yet introduced myself. Seems like a villain to me. Just by his voice. My name is Dr. Yannick Fairline, and I'm the founder and former CEO of System One Software. Oh, a competitor. We're now owned by Parallax. Oh, you better. Definitely sounds like a bad guy. He is telling the truth, at least as far as I can intuit from information on the MeshNet. And I do recall Hayden mentioning a Dr. Fairlight at least Dr. once in Yannick passing Fairlight? at some point. See, I don't bite. I hate to be the one to tell you, but privacy screens are hardly soundproof. So what? However, if this situation concerns us both, perhaps we can help each other. I won't press you for details, but 
Perhaps I could be of some assistance, hmm? No. I remember my association with Hayden fondly, and I'd be happy to help him any way I can. Definitely a bad guy. What are you doing here? The chair you find me in is an advanced diagnostic and life support run. Its development is one of my hobbies, so to speak. It monitors my vitals and administers medications as necessary to keep my body stable. I likely would have perished long ago without it. Yeah, or at least this guy to be a bedridden. It requires frequent maintenance, and I'm here to have it examined. There's a particular fellow at this hospital who is the only one I trust to run the correct diagnostics and fine-tune things to my exact needs. It's the same way you might get your car serviced, making sure everything's in check. It's too integral to my health to count on just luck. Unfortunately, uh, many critically injured patients were rushed into surgery all at once. My appointment has been pushed back. The hospital administrators placed me here with a resting patient so as not to be disturbed by the chaos outside. Sure. I don't think they expected you to awaken quite as quickly as you did. What do I want? <laughs> it would be nice to be young again. Play the darling of the company, court prince and pauper alike. But right now, someone I grew very fond of is in great danger. I simply wish to see Hayden home again, safe. How do you know about this? Ah, I can think of a few ways. Be a buddy. I still have some contacts in Parallax and can put out some quiet feelers. Maybe they'll know something. I will admit, what is it okay I don't have much to offer monitor. until there's more information. Is there anything you can tell me? No. I'd like to help in any way I can. I don't want to tell you anything. What did you find at Hayden's apartment? The first time we went, nothing. Don't even tell you anything. When we went back to extract his computer's data cache. Why are you telling him? Shut up! The place had been pillaged. Shut up! Shut up, you stupid moron! Oh my god, this guy's walls. so dumb. Hey, the sound card database. Sound card database has had so much fun playing this game. What a gem. Cool. Hayden's computer Why is this was guy gone, telling you everything? We were assaulted. Oh my god. And now we're here, injured and losing our trail with each passing second. We're still frustratingly in the dark and running out of time. I fear Hayden is slipping out of reach. I am failing him. I'm very well, sorry a lot of information. I wish I could do more. Hayden's company was most enjoyable. What tells that, man. Oh. The company or his personal uh, company? Yes. As I've mentioned, Parallax acquired my company, System One Software. I accepted a CTO position. Additionally served on Parallax's board for several years. It's like a corporate governance scandal here. The other directors and I had a difference of opinion about the direction the organization should take. So I killed all of them. The non-centralized data scheme for most ROMs used today seemed ludicrous at the time. We were playing with fire. Dangerous, morally ambiguous fire. And well... We hadn't invented a bucket of water. So when Parallax's servers were destroyed by hobbyist hackers, well, needless to say, it was a PR nightmare. Everything halted until we could get the damage fixed. Oh, that's the, that's like this the, the person that cat person. What was her name? Tomcat. She hacked the servers. And since the security work that goes into maintaining the integrity of near impenetrable mesh net is astronomically expensive. We had our share of disagreements. In the end, I was voted off the board and they went on without me. Do I have hard feelings? Of course, who wouldn't? In the end though, 
it really doesn't matter. I'm an old rich man with enough hobbies to last the next two decades. Excuse me. Do you know anything about Hayden's research? His research? No, not so much. I remember at the time he had interest in advanced machine sapiens. But that is the realm of science fiction. For sure. He once showed me a prototype of his. She was quite clever, very convincing. She is. But you could tell she did not contain the spark of life. I assume that you are another of his creations. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. I didn't introduce myself. Don't My introduce yourself. My name is Turing. Um, it, did you say she? Ah, yes. She was quite insistent on that fact over the course of my conversation with her. Hayden said that she had picked out the color for her casing herself. Pastel pink. Still, I must assume you are far more advanced than she, if you are spearheading the search for your creator. Perhaps I, I should have had more faith in Hayden's little hobby. Do you know what became of her, or where she might be now? Hayden has told me so he little of his past her research. He ate her. I'm sorry, Turing. It was a long time ago. I'm afraid my memory is not what it used to be. Sure. If any of my contacts and Parallax make mention of your uh, erstwhile sibling, I'll pass it on. Like Data and Lore from Star Trek. Hmm. Thank you, Dr. Fairlight. How'd you meet Hayden? Hayden and I made our acquaintance Wait, when we ask two everything, companies I guess. first underwent the merger. At the time, he was a young hotshot researcher working in the search data correlation sector. He was assigned to find the best ways to integrate Parallax's own collection and analysis into his operating system. Is any good? He was a bit much to handle at times, honestly, but I admired his passion for the subject. It's been very interesting speaking to you, Doctor Fairlight. Not really. I don't think I learned anything. Turing, are you sure we can trust him? <coughs> Turing, we should trust him. Turing, I don't think we should trust him. I'm gonna go with Turing, I don't think we should trust him. What do you guys in the chat think? I'm pretty sure I don't trust him already. Hayden was a very interesting person to talk to. I always liked beating Hayden and uh, killing him. I enjoyed kidnapping him the other day, actually. That was a lot of fun. Any comments from the chat before I make my selection? Wait 10 more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Right. I don't think we should trust him. I suppose I should respect you for your honesty, though it may be ill-informed. Thank you, Ninja. I'll be blunt with you. You've uncovered a deeply unsettling mystery. I doubt this has a happy ending. Oh, thank you. My connections could prove more valuable to you and your safety than you realize. Rudeness aside, I only have the intention of helping my old friend. So fine, you could like help me, but I'm still not gonna trust seems you. It's a bit unproductive to say no. Now, if you're willing to hear me out, I think I might have a lead in mind for you too. What is it? You said you found human revolution slogans spray painted on the walls. I am. Acquaintances with the man leading the current human revolution protests at the Genus Clinic. It's me. His name it's my is brother. Brian Mulberry. Brian Mulberry. After an introduction from me, he may be willing to shine some light on that particular event. All right, I can do that. Ah, well, when I exited Parallax, I sought out like-minded individuals. 
work together to prevent a full deployment this guy of the seems like, net system. I don't know, I'm afraid of saber character. Was one such person. We did not succeed in our efforts, obviously. Come to think of it, that event might have been what prompted Brian to take a more radical stance against technology. <laughs> but, yes, our motivations arrived in one brief time, and I gained his respect from it. Hopefully, that can be useful. No, no, not in this lifetime. Even if I so desired, Use the technology. I don't think they would approve much of my work. While Mr. Mulberry and I were associated with each other once, it, it was before he joined the human revolution. I find their methodology too aggressive, and their stated goals dangerously backwards. While I pushed for careful deployment of technology after the Parallax System 1 merger, I am no caveman. Okay, we got the After point. all, I'd likely be dead without the advanced yes, technology can. that goes into this chair. Thank you for helping out. I like those. I will send a message downstairs to my assistant, Leon Decker. Leon Decker? He will hand you one of my cards Decker, the to prove your association runner. with me to Mr. Mulberry. Okay. Make sure you speak to him before you leave. In the meantime, I'll get in touch with some other individuals I know and try to find out any other information about Hayden that I might be able to pass on to you. I'll be in contact. It was a pleasure meeting you both. Yeah, a few. Ah, of course. Please, do not let me delay you any further. Good luck, Turing. I don't think Hayden's faith in you was misplaced. You are an impressive piece of technology. This guy's Thank bad you, man. Dr. Fairlight. We'll be in touch. He's a very bad man. Should I call downstairs to have you discharged? Yes. You are one lucky dog. Oh, Lexi. Didn't I tell you to be careful? I was careful. You get it now? Wasn't my fault. I can't be around to pull your ass out of the fire all the time anymore. You didn't do anything. I don't even know how I would have handled the board of inquiry or your sister if you'd actually been hurt. Or my sister. <laughs> I'm sorry, Detective Rivers. Wasn't my fault. Our assailant got the drop on us due to my negligence and lack of technical prowess. This is all because of my failure. Blame me. It's my fault. This game fault. got better, I will say. It's, such, it's sure. interesting, at least. The robot fresh off the assembly line is going to know how to handle this kind of thing better than the supposedly hard-boiled journalist you're carting around. Well, to be honest... Detective Rivers... I think I'll tell you the whole truth, since my friend here trusts you. Keep it under your hat, though, metaphorically. What? I true. am no ordinary ROM, but actually a prototype designed to be the first fully sapient machine. I suspect creating me is the main factor behind Hayden's disappearance, beyond his day-to-day -day research for Parallax. My name is Turing. Okay, we got this Ooh. room. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Turing. See if the response to me. Okay. Well, that is a damn Who bigger cares? problem than you first let on. Huh, old pal? The first machine sapient. So really should collect their dinner from the floor before it runs off. What is that, like a little Big Mac walking around? Happy Especially meal? Especially the human revolution. Ugh. This is exactly what I wanted to avoid. You sure know how to get yourself dropped in the drink. Just get it together, both of you. Small droid, maybe. Looks like a walking, like, happy meal. I don't want you to get hurt, and it sounds like you're stumbling into a really dangerous situation. Plus, my sister's I'm gonna kill you if I get hurt. Right. Looks like a rude boy, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Someone higher up in the department is trying to delay any search into Hayden's disappearance. Okay. Here's the story. Apparently, the investigations you ran into this morning were about the lock on the apartment door being reported broken by a neighbor. 
The building couldn't reach Hayden, so they went ahead and got it fixed on their own, but the NSFPD sent a bot to check things out and guard the place for a while afterward, right? Standard procedure, treating it as a break-in. Have someone there for when Hayden shows up. Obviously, you and I know there's a bigger story, but when I filled out the missing person report, I was informed in no uncertain terms that I am to wait an entire 48 hours before I can upgrade the existing case. Why? On the off chance the door being busted and Hayden being missing are unrelated and my search screws something up for the completion of the break-in report. Okay. As if. There's a problem if you're so by the book you're getting paper cuts. And that was before all of this happened. The Chief's not happy like about whoever took the bot out. That's who they're after now. They won't even care if Hayden never shows. Today's assault and the vandalization of our apartment will only make the entire situation more confusing and sensitive eggs. for the police. I had some egg drops super for her. There's too many moving parts to piece anything together, and it's not fun trying to argue with the bureaucrats that one thing happened over another. Does my hair make you look like eggs to think eggs too? These little incidents of smashing of shit and spray thing, paint sorry. sound more like Froyo Stand 2.0 to them than a serious abduction. Froyo Stand 2.0. I suppose I won't be very useful as a witness to the kidnapping without explaining the makeup of my being to the entire department, which will only scandalize things further. Darn it all! Look, it's not being squashed completely, so I don't think anyone's been bought. But until there's undeniable proof Hayden was taken by force, they're gonna care more about the poor doorknob and some paint on the walls than him being missing means somebody definitely has some influence. Enough to buy themselves time by forcing me to follow protocol to a T. Mm -hmm. Let's crawl across the floor, cart of eggs, try to worse and turn to dress. Not that I will, but I'm gonna have to keep things quiet. It sounds like it's going to be up to us. Yeah, so stop messing around. Yeah, let's do. There's certainly a story here, but if you keep botching your moves, you'll blow it. Okay I'd the really rather you not be involved at all, but I know that isn't going to happen at this point. Here I've got, got a bad feeling people are going to end up dead over this. I don't want you to be one of them, buddy. Oh, and I really don't want to be the one making that call to your sister. Mm. Please. Give me a hug. I'm sorry, Lexi. I'll be careful, I promise. Yeah, yeah. I know. Jim, hey, Jim. Hey, birthday, Jim. So your birthday just barely, right? What are you confused about? Just here. Oh, I got a gun. A Nintendo Zapper. Take this. Use it if you have to. This is the same thing we got hit with. It's not. This is a medium-range electrolaser pistol. It uses a low power laser to create a channel of ionized gas to complete a circuit between the gun and the target, then discharges a considerable like amount a of current into the basically. air. Think of it as a wireless taser of the older variety. Okay. This is a more suitable personal defense weapon, and it is legal to carry in the OSF without a license. Oh, good to know, okay. The neural scrambler we uses a powerful electromagnetic field to disrupt electrical signals in the target's nervous system. That's far more dangerous and prone to be permanently damaging to the target. That's what happened to me, I got shot with that. You got lucky. I told you to get a weapon, but you didn't, so I picked it up on the way here. Be Thank smart you, Lexi. You're so good to me, Lexi. I appreciate it. Me either. I'll be in really touch if I find anything idea. out, but don't hold your breath. My superiors are going to keep leaning on me to do nothing. Back to the grind, I guess. See ya. Stay safe. I still got a gun. Thank you for your time, Detective Rivers. She you left. should talk to the receptionist and formally check out before we go anywhere. We should also look for Dr. Fairlight's yeah. assistant, Mr. Decker. He too. should be somewhere around. Plant. Mysterious man. Such a resting woman. Oh, you waiting for your husband? Alright, let's talk to the mysterious man. Hello. The name is Leon Decker. It's a pleasure to meet you. 
I like the voice acting of this game. Very professional. Fairlight messaged ahead that I needed to pass one of his cards on to you. Here. Thank you. Thanks for taking your time with him. He really gets in one of his moods when the chairs get fixed. <laughs> it is probably for the best, I agree. The last gala he organized was full of unsavory types. He's probably happy to help folks whose pockets aren't deeper than their thoughts. I ask a few questions, sure. Yeah. yeah, boss said you'd have a few for me. I'm not really supposed to answer anything too private, but <laughs> take your best shot. What's your story? Probably not as exciting as you hope. I grew up in Montana, on a family farm. I didn't have my pa's farm hands, so I joined the military as soon as I could, like my grandpaps. Came home looking to do something a whole lot quieter for the rest of my life. I didn't know at the time how boring it's a too, quiet Decker's could be. Blade Runner. I broke <laughs> but that up I'll take it over to get shot at. Oh, uh, mostly gopher work, to be honest. Yeah, that was Deckard, right? But it seems similar. Started when I was just out of the military. I was looking for a gig from someone who wouldn't care that I was an army brat. North Korea made that hard. The old man pays me to guard his life, run North a few Korea. errands for him, and play substitute army candy. Like World War III in North Korea? Substitute army candy? Not terribly exciting, so but I've also? already had enough excitement to last me another 30 years. Roy Daddy is why do you think he's helping us? You think sitting in that chair all day is very entertaining? You know, the old man's talked to me about the things he used to do in his glory days. I'm sure he told you about when he was the head of some big companies. He was cold, ambitious, and took down anyone with half a mind to get in his way. I think once he aged, he realized how lonely that kind of life can be. Helping people is the only way he can feel like he's still doing something. But hey, what do I know? I just spend all my time with him. Thank you, Leon. No problem. You're welcome. I'll be around if you know where to look. By the way, you have a good day now. I'm gonna, for me watching this after the fact, make sure you subscribe if you want to see the next part of this thing. I'm going to play a little bit longer, but I'll probably stop relatively soon. It's been almost two hours. I'm not sure if I need to check out with the receptionist, but I guess I will. Patient? My records indicate that you have been admitted for possible cranial trauma. Yep. You should currently be in your assigned bed resting. I'm checking myself out. While I am truly delighted to see that you have regained consciousness, I must insist that you return to your room to be examined by a medical professional immediately. Accidental discharge of a weapon is a serious event. I must insist that you remain for treatment. <laughs> Even non-lethal stunners can leave much lasting neurological damage. Very well. I am prohibited by law from detaining you here against your will, patient. Hey, Hopster Key. How's it going? Good to see you. But you should note in your release paperwork that... Willful early termination of medical services releases this hospital and its parent company, ZHC, from legal liability should your condition persist or worsen outside of our care. That's okay. Additionally, all tests and medical data from your visit will be shared with our standard partners to help improve our services and offerings and to keep the price affordable. <laughs> I am further required to inform you that this visit has expended the last of your year's governmentally mandated health care credits. <laughs> Great. Lastly, you will be required to provide payment or proof of private insurance for any further visits for routine or emergency medical care. Please take care to fill out all forms thoroughly and accurately, and do have a nice day. Terrible. Your medical billing makes me glad I'm synthetic. You should look for more pain in journalism break, work yeah, before yeah. you get shot again. Well, we're free to leave. Why not head back home first, yes? I'm sure you'd like the chance to shower, at least. 
for such a clean place, it sure seems to have left you feeling foul. I didn't really want to shower, but they seemed like they, they just funneled me home. I didn't even have a choice. You look good. If you're feeling up for it, we should go find Tomcat and tell them about what happened. Really funneling me They should me still be here. waiting for us at Stardust. Let's not keep them waiting. What does Turo want me to shower? Maybe because he's because she he or she is horny, and they want to see me naked. Uh, all right, I'll save the game. Oh, it's like they give me options of whatever they think I'm trying to say. Let me figure out. I'm trying to say shower. Shower. Okay. I'll go talk to Tomcat. Gathering info. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I tell you, any email or anything? As long as I'm home, like, you know. Stack of papers. Sink. The sink still looks disgusting. Can I, like, clean it or something? After whatever Turing did to it. Oh, you broke my laptop? You broke my laptop, you piece of garbage? Alright, whatever. Let's go back to. Club. Looks like the bouncer moved to the other side of the door. Welcome to Stardust. So there's a shout as to say. Oh, there's two bartenders now. So a random glass of whiskey. Majid. It's not even a spinning chair, it looks like one. Who's this guy? Bearish bartender. Sorry, I don't think we've met before. I'm Gus. You have a really cool ROM. How's Stardust treating you? Well, that's good. But we can do better than not bad. Let me know how we can help. Majid may not have a memory for mixed drinks, but he loves listening to his patron's problems. You'll have to let me or him know if you need any help. We try to run a tight ship around here. Oh, there isn't much to tell, really. I came to Neo SF from Arizona to finally live somewhere more thrilling. Majid needed someone good with numbers to handle back of the house sort of stuff. So here I am. I didn't grow up in big cities like this, and I always right. loved listening to Majid's stories from the bay. Okay, I'm gonna get back to this, but sure thing. I'm gonna do your name, honestly. Are you gonna drink now? Hey, good to see you back. What can I do for you? What are you having? What's up, blue boy? Remind me, what's in that? Drinktionary, the open alcoholopedia says. Oh, I got this, sweetie. Oh, wait, I. Ha <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm just holding up the bar rather than running it. No, I just memorized all the drinks. You're better with the customers. This there are a couple. Is... Sounds good. Thank you, hon. There are definitely a couple. It. What? It would be remiss of me not to mention that your preferred diet does not resolve with those ingredients. How do you know that? I must advise against the order. Huh? Like what? How do you know that? I'm really impressed with that one, actually. I mean, it could be. It could be kosher. The champagne probably isn't. 
That's really, really interesting. I mean, it, that could be a kosher drink, but like, that's so super many drinks these awesome. Drinkionary, the open alcoholopedia. Oh, I got this, sweetie. Everyone knows what whiskey is. Yeah, Ninja, that was pretty damn cool. This one is <laughs> just whiskey. <laughs> Thanks, son. <laughs> Thanks, son. Sounds good. Here you go. That was nice. We're just talking about I, was, I went to give a drink to the uh, the girl, but she's not there. VIP bouncer? What's this? VIP's kind of full right now. Wait a bit. Okay, let's talk to uh, Tomcat. Can I give her a drink? I don't even have an option to give her the drink. Interesting. Hey, y'all. How goes the search? I saw that one coming. Definitely a lot of profanity in this game. Yeah, I figured that they'd nab anything they needed the first time they hit the place. Huh. Any ideas who it could have been? The walls had been spray painted with many grotesque human revolution slogans. It is possible that Hayden was targeted by the organization for his work at Parallax. While my development may have been a secret, he is rather well known for his work on virtual intelligence data. A layman would not understand the critical differences between myself and a VI, nor do I think the average human revolution member would care to make the distinction. Equally likely, it is an effort to throw us off the trail of who's actually done this. Tom Cat's voice Chris played actress played Finn and Spider Miles Morales cool. Talk to a Yannick Fairlight. Charge for just some of the new revolution. Right. Dr. Fairlight was very kind to point us in the direction of the human revolution protest leader. Hopefully, we'll be able to get to the bottom of this after interviewing him. Yannick Fairlight? Uh, when did you run into him? Definitely not a good person. Oh, um, She's the person that hacked into the thing, the to, to the network, and got hit with some kind of neural stunner. What? Are y'all okay? Yes, we made it to the nearby hospital, and Dr. Fairlight happened to be occupying the same room Just we happened to be there. In. We had a discussion with him about Hayden's situation, then came here. Well, shit. Things sure are getting more serious than I first thought. Y'all need to keep a sharp eye out. Being attacked means the bastards know you're looking now. Look at a gun, I'm too. I'm confident in our ability to push on. That's someone's confident. Hmm. I can't say no much about the man. Fairlight always was a bit of a shut-in. Even back when he ran System 1, his old company. He didn't make any more public appearances after the merger between them and Parallax, but he was still working with them for six or so years past that. Nowadays, he shows up in the news once in a blue moon for some charity this thing. This game was a very cool voice cast. Sal Cardiabe says, I agree. This is some of the best voice acting I've heard in a long time, actually. But, uh, well, it's... I think this is a Kickstarter game, it, too, but I'm not sure about that. grudge about it hotter than the Clantons after the Earps. Okay. I'd take care to look this particular horse in the mouth real close if I was you. I agree. I don't trust him. Good. Now to lighten the mood. While y'all were chasing your tails, I managed to find a way into the Parallax Network. Cool. Once I'm in, I should be able to dig out Hayden's personal info file easily enough, including anything related to him on all security clearance levels. Cool. If Parallax is anything on Hayden's situation, 
it'll be in there. You may grab this one for yourself at some point. Yeah, it's on GOG. It's 20 bucks on GOG. Uh, Jeremy, I'm not sure how much is in Steam right now, but it's probably, it probably is a sale at some point. Fantastic, Tomcat. Like I said, I, I bought the PS4 version only because I didn't want to get... I wanted a physical copy. How long do you think it will take you? Well, that's where the rubber meets the road. I really like how the controller color changes, though. It's, it's weird. Parallax the light actually here. has considerably better security than the last time I tried him. The robot talks yeah, turns blue. I'm going to need physical access. I've got a good idea where a note for us to slice into is, but it ain't exactly in a nice part of town. You also prefer physical copies, Jeremy, or just want PS4? In fact, police have basically wrote it off as a lost cause. <laughs> Not enough profit in it. I know Jess has contacts. Now I have that changed the colors. Well, Jess has contacts. She's that girl that chewed you a new rear when y'all first came here. Yeah, I remember her. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough sale, but she might be able to help y'all get in and out of that part of the city without ending up in a parts bin at an organ shop shop. <laughs> Great. Um... I guess I'll go grovel till she brings the help. That's a spirit! <laughs> I need a little time to get all my tools together to slice into Parallax's network, but y'all keep me updated. Maybe y'all get lucky and find that data cache too. That'll be nice. But I, I ain't gonna count on it. Yeah, me neither. Jess is still hanging around here at Stardust, but I saw her head over to the VIP room. Oh, VIP room. It's hybrid night, and she's a popular gal. <laughs> Just please remember to play nice, or her friends will bump you something fierce. I'll send Jess a message letting her know that y'all are looking for some assistance, and we'll see what happens. Thank you, Tomcat. Sure thing, though. I've got to head on out of here and get started on setting up a run. Just have Tur and let me know when y'all are ready. She's Turing is blue. Left, okay. She left. Oh, she got I the see control Jess over blue, there behind some ropes. Let's go over and say hi and to Jess her. Jess is probably of a different color. Since COVID, you haven't put many physical releases. Why you get the PS2 or the PS4 version that is supposed to the PC version? Oh, hell no. Look, I'm really She's trying yellow. to have a good time today, and the Human Revolution crud muffins have made that very hard for me. And your interrogation this morning we took a bad day to work. I asked around about you, Jerno, and I don't have anything to say to you. The last thing I need is you prodding me without telling me your talking. press. Yeah, I know. Besides, the VIP section is only for hybrids and friends on hybrid night, and no way am I vouching for you. Hey, bouncer! You got a capital A asshole over here. <laughs> you heard her. Hey, Let's do anything go. Tell you like you're so mean. Ow. Oh, rude. She didn't even give us a chance to explain ourselves. Yeah. We have to get back in there and try to be reasonable. Surely she will see the importance of our task once we've explained so much attitude, everything. I agree. Like, what the hell? Even the but beginning, like, all I did is ask if she's Tomcat. Us back in. Perhaps we should try befriending someone nearby and convince them to vouch for us? Yeah, probably. It's a statistical long shot, but the worst case scenario shouldn't leave an excessive amount of physical damage. That's probably the right thing to do. Maybe her distracted patron. But you know what? A focused patron, a strategy patron, distant patron. So you can pick like who you want to talk to. This guy with the ears or this girl with the ears. But I think I think what I do now is actually save the game. I would like to play more, but it's 1.10 a.m. here, so I think I'm going to call it quits for tonight and look to pick up on um, a couple of days, probably. But this is, this is fun. I, I, I'm enjoying this game, actually. Um, even though there's a lot of talking and there's, there's a lot of reading and a lot of voice acting, the voice acting is really good, so that helps, first of all. Second of all... Just the story has been... Oh, I can't actually um, type more than that. It's too long. I'll say end of one. Ugh, end of two. 
the voice acting is good and the story is actually pretty good so it's like keeping me invested in the game and it's not making me feel bored or anything like that so I'm enjoying this game and definitely we have seen the LGBTQ friendly stuff quite a bit here actually so far so it's definitely um, kept up to its advertising there so yeah, this is 2064 Read Only Memories. I think we'll stop for now. If you're watching this after the fact, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this game. And make sure you you like the video and you're subscribed so you can see the next part. I think we'll stop it here, though. But uh, thanks, everyone, for being here. There's been a lot of people tonight. I know that uh, Ninja and Jeremy, the sound card database, are still here. I'm not sure if Hops or Key is still here or whoever else is gone already. But thanks, everyone, who was here today. We'll do this again really soon and uh, call it quits for two hours. Yes, yeah, thank you for being here, Soundcard Database. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. I will do a part two pretty soon and uh, do lots of stuff like this. So have a good night, everybody. A good day wherever you are. And uh, talk to you all soon. Peace out.